there's a lot of species that have gone extinct that we know about. There are others that are very rare. So it starts with knowing what's here first. So that's part of why we're here. Let's find out what is here, where does it live, and how can we protect it. So that's fantastic. Anybody else? Why, why, are, why are you folks here? I don't know. <laughs> so what brings you here today? What were you hoping to do? Well, you have some nets in your hand. Does that mean you're going to try to collect some things? I don't really want to. You don't really want to? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what kinds of things do you think we'll see today? Butterflies. Butterflies, yep. And so far, we, we know there's at least seven species that we saw yesterday afternoon. So maybe you can find some other species of butterflies we haven't seen yet. Or even the ones that we saw yesterday, hopefully you'll get to see them today. What else do you think we might see? Anybody else? Yes. Beetles and bees and wasps, all kinds of things. So uh, we, we saw a few beetles yesterday, but I haven't um, started counting them up yet. Yes? Flies. Flies, lots of flies. You can probably yeah. see them all <laughs> flying around right now, right, in your face? Yeah, so, so insects, that's what this BioBlitz is about. So what exactly is an insect? So remember this, some of you might remember from your biology class back in high school and others who haven't gotten there yet. There's this way of sort of ordering things. We have kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus, species. What kingdom do the insects belong to? Is it a plant, uh, a fungus, an animal, a bacteria? Animals. What are insects? They're animals, of course, they're animals. But sometimes it's easy to forget that. Uh, how about the phylum? What, what group of organisms at that point? Anybody remember that? It's the arthropods. And what makes something an arthropod? I'm sorry? The number of legs. Uh, so first of all, legs. So arthropod, if you think of arthritis, those are joints. That's a pain in your joints. So arthro means jointed, and pod means foot. So they have jointed legs. So that means worms don't count. So worms are not arthropods, they're little earthworms. And they also have what on their outside versus their inside? The exoskeleton. exoskeleton. That's right. So the arthropods have an exoskeleton and jointed legs. So that's what we're looking for today. The first and center of our attention today is to honor this 100 years science and service talk of extension has been about. And uh, I think, unfortunately, looks like he's not going to make it today. Um, he's been kind of battling a bit of an illness, and we understand that. His birthday is in five days, he'll be 91 years old. Oh. Yeah. He <laughs> is somebody that's just larger than life, and his impact in San Mateo and San Francisco as well as so across the state is just amazing. I'm actually... We did have a bath up plan and went and interviewed the king earlier this week about three hours. Oh, yay! I captured about three hours of video footage and sound recordings. And so we'll be able to see king today as well. <laughs> um, but first, I'm going to introduce Bill Gass, our Farm Bureau Director. Bill's a great leader here in San Mateo County, the Ad Community. And he's also had an opportunity to meet and hang personally and to understand the impact of the work king has done for San Mateo County. So, Bill, I'm going to have you come up and see if you were Sure. Thank you, Virginia. Um, some of you probably knew Hank and some of you didn't. Um, but Hank, uh, I'll just give you a little about, a bit of a background on it. Uh, I interviewed Hank several months ago for an article I wrote for our newsletter. And I was, the first thing when I first walked in the room with him, uh, there were several things that struck me down. One was his intelligence. Two was his, even at his advanced age, his energy level. His passion for agriculture. He's a very ethical person, and um, Hank invented networking, I think, before it was even a term. And that's how he was able to get so many things done. He grew up in Stockton. He worked summers on his grandmother's ranch in Brentwood, and that's where he developed his passion for agriculture. Uh, after he graduated from high school, he was going to junior college in Stockton, and he also en enrolled in the, uh, in, in the National Guard. Well, his unit got activated. This was during World War II. He got sent to Europe. He was in, in the Air, Air National Guard. His plane got shot down in Italy. And the only reason he was able to escape was because he spoke Italian. And uh, so um, he actually won a bronze star for some of his, uh, his deeds during World War II. He came back, went back to school to UC Davis, got his degree, and then went to work in the Extension Service. And um, he worked as the 
county director here in San Mateo County for almost 40 years, from the late 1940s until the late 1980s. Uh, a lot of the positive change that happened here in agriculture, new innovations were because of Hank. And, and, uh, but he's also a very modest person. When I interviewed him, he didn't want to take credit for a lot of the stuff he did. He said, make sure everybody else gets credit because I couldn't have done it by myself. Uh, he knew how to get people to work together towards a common cause to get things done. Um, and it's too bad he couldn't have been here today because he would have loved to see all of you. And actually, Hank was responsible for Elkers Ranch being here. He's one of the people that helped get this thing going. He also worked hard back in the 60s to get the Williams Act in place, which is a statewide law uh, which helps farmers and ranchers be able to afford to stay on their ranch, not just in this county, but statewide. A lot of uh, farmers and ranchers would have had to sell out to, cut to developers if, if it wasn't for the Williams Act. Hank is, was a big force behind that getting uh, put into, into place. Um, he's been married for 64 years, I believe, to, to his wife. They've got two kids, three grandkids. And uh, you know, if you get a chance, uh, call him or send him a birthday card, because I'm sure he'd appreciate it. Uh, and if you want to send him to Virginia, uh, she can, I'm sure she can get him to her or send him to me. Um, that's about all I've got to say about Hank, but I, I want to say about Virginia, Virginia is Hank 2 point, version 2 point. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she's going to do great things while she's here, and we're lucky to have her. Thank you. Everyone was coming together to help each other, and that's what made the legacy.
to trash Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts, which I did from fighting the Girl Scouts with mm -hmm. Corporate H, but I think 4 H is better. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yes. <laughs> Hank, it's your friend Mike Campbell. And I came over from the Delta, the Sacramento Delta, to congratulate you, to see you, to tell you how much I care about you, how proud I am of our friendship and our, our long working relationship between UC Davis and Cooperative Extension. Uh, you are a, a great human being. I'm proud to be your friend. I'm proud to have worked with you. I uh, always enjoyed it when you called me and said, uh, Mike, it's Hank. And uh, I knew that we were going to have an adventure. You were, we were, you were going to take me uh, on an adventure with uh, your ideas and your desire to, to improve both California agriculture and California. Sorry you're not here. Sorry you're not feeling well. I know you're going to be better. And I hope to see you soon. Thank you so much, Hank. All right. Hi, Hank. My name is Julie Matheson. And 
Just over the years, you've helped us so much. Uh, I worked at the greenhouse of the plant called The Plant Company with Michael Fleming uh, for 12 years out there. And your direction, your advice was so wonderful over the years. Happy birthday to you. And uh, I just, great to see you on the screen today. And I wish you well. Adios. <laughs> Hey Hank, this is Bill Gass from the Farm Bureau. Uh, I wanted to say again how much I enjoyed meeting with you and your wife at your house uh, several months ago. Sorry that you couldn't be here today. I'm at Elkis Ranch, which wouldn't be here without you. And uh, I want to wish you a happy birthday and uh, I hope you're back up to full speed here in the next day or two. Take care. Bye. Hank, I just want to say happy 91st birthday and good health to you and Doris and thank you both for all you've done for agricultural in San Mateo County. It's been really appreciated and we hope you can carry on and we can have your 92nd birthday here. But we do appreciate everything you've done for us in agricultural and uh, words just can't say enough for what you've done. And you've been a good friend, you and Doris both. So thank you and good luck to you. Oh, Hank Spivoku. Yeah, I just want to thank you for all the years of dedicated service and the help you've given to the Oku family for sure, and agriculture in general. I know all the flower growers really needed and <laughs> used your services, and, and you did create a great industry here in San Mateo County. Uh, I just wanted to say uh, uh, greetings from uh, Ron Enomoto also, I talked to him yesterday, and he said he was sorry he couldn't be here, but uh, he wanted me to give you his best. So you take care of yourself, and again, thank you very much. Hi, Hank and Doris. Um, wish you were here. Uh, we think about you lots, and uh, happy birthday, Hank. Thanks for everything that you've done for agriculture in San Mateo County. We love you guys. Bye. Hi, Hank. You, I think you know who I am with my white hair from Mother McCheyans. I'm, uh, as you know, third generation flower grower here on the coast. You help my, my grandfather, my uncles, my family. I just want to thank you for all your years of service and incredible support for our family back in the 60s and 70s and half the day. I thank you quite a few times. But you know you were instrumental in bringing the Cal Poly back in the 70s also. So thanks again. I wish you a very happy birthday. Thanks.